Hey, this is Dr. Corey Glenn, and I'm going to show in this video how to go about making a what I call a corticocancellus uh, study model that can be 3D printed. I find these to be really useful for not only demo models, but also practice surgery models. Uh, for my live courses, I've made quite a few of these in different configurations, all on fours, toothborne cases, all kinds of things, and they really give kind of a realistic drilling experience because you'll have the hard cortical boundary and then you get into the cancellous bone and so it really is just a nice option without having to try and drill into a solid model. So let me show you how I go about doing that. Um, in this demonstration I'm going to just show you on a mandible which I've done the segmentation on. So this is a mandible that I've just subtracted out the nerve so the nerve has got a tube in this. Um, so first thing that I'm going to do in these cases is I will always go to edit and duplicate. I always want to have one that I can come back to that has been unaltered and uh, that I don't have to worry about you know losing everything. So let's minimize or uh, make one of these where it's not visible. And so the one that we're going to start with here I'm going to edit and then say uh, hollow. So right now this is just a solid model and we are going to hollow this out. Now what, uh, what thickness would you like your cortical boundary to be? Um, typically, you know, one and a half, two, let's just go with two since it's defaulted to that right here. Um, we'll go with a two millimeter cortical boundary and so that's going to be uh, the thickness of the cortical bone that you'll be drilling through. Actually, let's bump this down to 1.5. Update the hollow. Okay, I like that a little bit better. So we've got that. I'm going to accept this and I always relabel these now. Uh, 0.5 hollow. Great. So uh, once again, I'm going to duplicate this. Uh, this time the hollow one. So edit, duplicate. So now I've got two of those. Now let's hide one of those and go back again to this one. So now I need to go about making the cancellous interior. So what I'm going to do right now is take my select tool, double click this entire outside and push delete. And what that's going to leave me is an inner shell. Um, this is essentially the inside of the, um, the mandible. So all that I could, this is all the material I could use to make cancellous space. Now I need to flip that uh, outward so that it doesn't have the inside as the outside. So I'm going to just select a little bit of this, modify, select all. So everything is selected right now. And now I can go to edit and flip normals. Okay, so now I have the, um, the part that I want to turn into cancellus. And then I also have the outer part, which is going to be a two millimeter cortical boundary. So with this, now come over to Edit and Make Pattern. And so Mesh Mixer gives you the option of creating some cool little uh, patterns in this. I like the lattice. And you can orient this lattice into whatever manner you want. You can spin this around, change the angles. You can also define uh, the dimension of these little members. So what kind of bone do you want? Do you want this to be relatively dense? Then you might go up here and for your element dimension, I typically find about one millimeter is ideal. And so for a very spongy maxilla, maybe you just do something like this and that's gonna give the effect of not having to drill as hard into this. Um, if you wanna go something a little more um, harder to drill through but still have a lot of cancella space in there we could maybe change this to two millimeters for our element spacing okay so this is updated I'm going to accept it that step does take a little while so let your computer think and if you've got a computer that's kind of borderline on its specs then you know it might crash it and not be able to do it but now I have a cancellous interior and again if I go back up and I turn on the hollowed um, model up here now we can simply combine these so control select and now I can combine 
And the net effect, uh, let, let's do one more thing. Analysis, inspector, and you're going to have inevitably some little uh, problems with your mesh. Just auto repair all of them. You might still have one or two. It can't repair, but in this case, it looks like it did all of them. So let's just take a look at this in cross-section. Uh, if you printed this, it's just going to look like this from the exterior, but let's see what it would look like interior. So plain cut, and we can see that now this has a nice um, hollow interior, and we'll be able to drill into this, and everything should be uh, very much like a real mandible, or you could look at it maybe from different dimension. And again, you see the, all this. Now remember, this is one that I had previously subtracted out the nerve. And so this one will be kind of cool in that it will have, um, you know, if you cut a window into it, that's how you would get the effect that I generated right here, which is this tube of the nerve. And then I just cut out a window. And I'm just using this for sake of demonstrating the, the Blue Sky Bio fully guided keyless kit. Uh, so anyways, I hope you find that useful. You can go nuts with making your own customized uh, practice models. Um, this is great for those of you teaching courses uh, to be able to customize things for your, your course participants. And maybe you show them a surgery and you plan them out. And then they can all go and do the same procedure on these dummy models. So just a neat little trick and I hope you find it useful.